Hi everyone, welcome back to Crazy for Retro. I'm Peggy Lou. I really appreciate you stopping by today. We have a fun antique haul that was a treat for us to do when we went to Duluth, Minnesota on June 3rd and 4th. We love going up there in the spring because our anniversary is April 12th, but sometimes it's pretty cold in April and no one was going anywhere this past April. So we postponed it to June 3rd and we really had fun in the really nice hotel that we get every time we go up there that is right on the canal and the bay. And these ships are so close to us, but we just really enjoy sitting out there and taking little films of the ships and all the activities and the seagulls and the famous lift bridge that will go up and down for all of the ship traffic. And the ships, when they're leaving, they signal the bridge, which is quite loud because we're really close to it and the bridge is even louder yet when it signals back. It is so fun. So we set aside some spending money for ourselves. And even though we go to antique shops, we're still looking for good deals and for fun things that we'd like to have for our decor. The first thing that I want to share with you is what Norm found. He was so excited. It took him a while to actually run across it in this big antique mall, but he did find something that he likes. He hardly ever finds boat related items and he thinks up there would be one of the best places to find something boat related. So I'm going to pause my haul and let you see what he did, what he found, I should say. Really, really neat item. Hello, this is a purchase that I made and I wanted to talk about it. Thought I could explain it a little better than Peg. Uh, this was marked Tug and the price was $375, but they had that scratched off and they put on 200 for it. And when I was looking at it, I noticed on the glass case of the cabinet that it was sitting on the top of it, they had everything is 20% off. So I talked to the store manager and asked him if that included this boat. He talked to the owner and the owner agreed that I could get 20% off. So I ended up paying 160. This boat is about 15 inches long, about five inches wide, extremely detailed. And it is just a superb model uh, with all the uh, boom work uh, they had on their circuit 1985 and they said tug this is not a tug this is a fishing trawler just the detail on it everything is just immaculate the painting i could never do anything like that so i am very happy with it and this is a boat from uh, sitka alaska i'm gonna try to spin this around here Got it on our Lazy Susan we use for our kitchen. Thank you very much for looking. And very happy I got it for that price. I took it out of the case it came in because the glass needed to be cleaned and this shows it a little better. So I got to clean the glass and get it back in shape. Bye now. Okay, now that you've seen Norm's fun boat model, um, I'd like to explain that we decided to drive first over to Superior, Wisconsin, where there's a really fun antique shop that we haven't been to for a while. It is full of really fun retro stuff. And um, they really weren't open that day, but the lady was willing to come and open up the shop for us because she said, I live nearby. So I want to show you the very first thing that I found, this crazy blouse that I'm wearing. Do you believe this? I'm going to stand up. It's very tropical and it's very glittery. It's actually a little itchy under here. So I have to wear something underneath that's, that's going to keep it from itching me. But I really wanted something fun to wear when I do the videos. So I'm being very retro today. I can't guarantee I'm gonna 
wear it all the time, but I also put on an old pair of my big plastic earrings that I believe are from the 60s. I've been collecting big, fun, plastic, colorful earrings for years, so I have a big stash of them, and someday I'm going to share them with you too, with a lot of my 60s, 70s crazy jewelry. So first of all then, um, after this lovely shirt, this shirt, by the way, I should tell you what it cost. It was $18. And after I got home with it, you know, I want to wash everything, of course, right away. That's one of my biggest concerns is that I get things clean. And I looked at the tag and it said dry clean only. And I thought, oh no, really? Ah, uh, that's outdated. That's old fashioned. So I put it in my really lovely washing machine that Norm bought me many years ago. It is commercial technology. It's a wonderful Maytag. And it has a very gentle cycle. So I just use cold water and uh, wool light and it just turned out fine. Nothing shrunk, nothing faded. So I was very relieved. So I'm glad of that. All right, then I kind of went overboard. I asked the lady, there's so much stuff in there. I ha actually asked this lovely lady if she knew if she had any bangle bracelets because I have always been looking for them and they're kind of hard to find. And she said, oh yeah, we might have some around here, but actually somebody just came in here and cleaned me out of a lot of them. I thought, Oh, great. I'm always a day late. But anyways, I snooped around and snooped around and there were nooks and crannies and bowls and I did find some really great ones. So I did splurge on the bracelets, but you know how much I like them. So I've got them written down here. I have three pink translucent bangle bracelets with rhinestones. Two of them are very, very similar. I'm going to have to show you up close. Two of them are very similar and those are Aurora Borealis type rhinestones, but they see the top edge of them and the bottom edge of them is a, a pink rhinestone. But then this one was different. This one is got angled rows, nice angled rows. Of rhinestones so I was happy to find them and they were $22 for those three so I'll let you do the math then I found a olive green one and this is very pretty too it's it's kind of I've that's rare I've never seen olive green I've got a lot of them now so that was kind of fun and I, I've got olive green in my pink bedroom, pink and orange bedroom curtains. So that was fine to find the olive one and then the animal one. It is on this page. Okay, yeah, that was $8 for that. So that's a lot. I usually like to only pay $5, but she knew it was a little more unusual. Okay, this one was 10. Again, here I'm splurging a little. This, being in an antique shop, you're gonna pay more than a thrift store. Uh, it is, who knows what kind of animal this is, but it's really a fun, fun animal print with pink and orange and black interior. So oh, I thought that one's beautiful condition. It's not scratched up. Lots of fun. And I do have one of the vases in my pink and orange bedroom that's got all these stacked on its animal prints. So I was happy to find that. And this lady owns everything in that shop. It's a small shop, but it's packed. The name of it in case you're interested, is Antiques on Belknap. 
B-E-L-K-N-A-P, and that is Belknap, Belknap Avenue, or Street, Street, Norm says. Okay, so then, by then, the antique mall, a big one in Canal Park, it's called Father Time Antiques. That had finally opened, so we did go over there, and I did, probably that first trip, find this yellow and white farm print eye slip picture, and yes, I splurged. It was $20, but I've never seen it before. We have, you know, looked for these 50s eye slip pictures for many years. It is roosters and cupola, cupolas, if you're familiar with what that is. Is it showing very well? I think that's showing pretty good. It's in really good condition. And there's really cute suns on the top. Some fancy, um, I can't think of the word I want for the little medallion looking things across the top border. But it was very fun to get because I really don't have a lot of yellow pictures. Yellow and red or yellow and green. But this was very fun being a farm scene. So I was happy to find that. That was probably the first item that I found. Okay, then a really nice $5 for this 50s. It's marked Hong Kong, so it's 1950s. What they're calling fruit salad necklaces. Fruit salad because they're so chunky and a lot of these fun necklaces had fruit in them too. And so this is like a Hawaiian lei, L-E-I. I'm sure most of you have heard what a Hawaiian lei is, that the beautiful ring of flowers they put over your neck when you get off the plane. At least they did that way back when they were welcoming people from the United States and around the world, I'm sure. For a while there, I was very disappointed because I've collected a lot of them. And I thought that they would just keep going up in value, but it seemed like about five years ago, I was looking at them online and they were really losing their value. But I have just noticed that they've come back again. So I'm hoping a lot of these 50s, 60s things, especially in jewelry, the very thick, chunky, fun necklaces from Hong Kong and Japan are going to come back again in, in popularity. So $5, I think, was a steal for this, at least for me to add to my fun collection that I will show you eventually um, where I keep that collection of these fun chunky necklaces. I also found two neck rope necklaces that I invested in. Seven dollars for one, this dark green, and five dollars for a bright translucent green one. Here's the translucent green one. I'll show you in a minute. Now, these are lucite. So to me, that price was very reasonable. The reason why I know this is lucite is because I already had gotten the same identical beads, only much larger, I found years ago. I had that necklace in uh, my green owl room and there was a tag on it that said lucite. So I know that it is lucite. And one of the beads, every other bead is glittered lighter green and then the other one is a pearly darker green. So I know that that's lucite. Um, this one also is beautiful, smooth, smooth beads. There's no identification on it. 
but when they're really, really smooth and there's no seams on them, this shiny, and they're all faceted, I'm feeling pretty confident that it is. So that is a very pretty one. All right, then we went looking for other, other antique malls and we found a very large place that had completely redone everything. It was, a, it was a big surprise. So I had a lot of fun there. The first thing that I ran across, I was feeling pretty guilty about buying because I don't tend to spend a whole lot on one item, even when I'm antiquing. But when you see this, you'll know why I weakened. I was aghast when I found this and Norm thought it was pretty cute too. It was 45. 45. Do I have this? I started choking right? too. Yeah, Norm. <laughs> Poor Norm. I didn't mean to do that to him. So, wow, I forgot to put it on my list. Oh boy, that'll make the price go up. Oops. I have a running total. Anyways, look at this retro darling purse. These beads on here look like those paper strips of candy dots. You know what I'm talking about? Have you ever seen the old, old 50s? Is that 50s norm or 60s? Uh, 60s maybe. Well, 50s could. Yeah, a little colored, you know, different colors, different flavors, but they remind me of candy dots. This is a Hong Kong purse. It was very, very clean. It's vinyl, nice bright vinyl. The hardware and everything is in really good condition. So she had it marked retro 60s Hong Kong vinyl purse. So that is a cloth underneath there, a textured, kind of a velour looking cloth, but it is so cute. I could not pass up another orange beaded purse. It's completely different than the one the ones I've had. So I know I was splurging. I'm not in the camera again, am I? Anyways, I thought that was fabulous. And in the same mall, this there was a lot of thrifty items. So I did find this little necklace. I don't have it on this list. I don't know why. You know, I did lose track of some things. I try so hard to. She's cooking the books. Yeah, <laughs> I try so hard to take photographs of the price tags, but you know, sometimes malls take price tags off. But this was only like a um, $1.99, and it is the same kind of fun agate looking stones, very marbled, fun agate stones. So I have some similar, but I always look for them, especially if they're $1.99. So that was like a thrifted item. Very surprised to find that. Okay, then this was a little more of a splurge again, but he was so cute. I couldn't resist him. He was $7. An old, old little donkey planter. He's very, very cute. I have, you know, not enough little planters. Yes, I do, of course I do, but he's so cute. And I don't think I had anything in yellow, yellow and black, so I thought he was very fun. Let's see, do I have anything else? Yes, I have one more thing. We went back to one little shop in Superior then the next day and it's the funniest name for an antique shop. Uh, it's called Junk and Disorderly. Very funny. I found, oh, there's one bracelet I missed. Haha, <laughs> I got one more bangle bracelet to show you. It got buried under my apron. I couldn't resist this for $10. Am I getting it in the picture? There are little pom-poms on that tree. Little red pom-poms. Funny, and then there's a half a tree on each edge where there's a pom-pom. There's two pockets on it. This is just a print, but it was 
and in really nice condition. I think there's there's a couple little coffee looking spots that I tried to get out, but I have washed and ironed it. So I think that would be also very fun in my kitchen. So that is the second to the last thing I forgot buried a very pretty another bangle and it was around the same price they were running seven dollars average this has got rhinestones in it but it's kind of a peachy peachy color very nice so that was our fun antiquing and looking for thrift stores and we didn't buy real cheap items, obviously, but it's our treat for our anniversary. We don't fly anywhere. We don't uh, go to fancy restaurants. Norm and I are very, very frugal. Uh, even when we go out to eat somewhere to get a decent steak dinner, we split it. We're pretty tight because we enjoy our thrifting and antiquing. I'm, uh, I've never, I've never had my nails done. There's a lot of things that I do not spend money on that I I could, but I'm trying to be more frugal so I can enjoy antiquing and thrifting. But now I would like very much if you would stay and watch some wonderful, very fun footage from our balcony watching the boat traffic or ship traffic and feeding some silly seagulls at the beginning. You will really enjoy this video clip that I, I put several of them together, but I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, Norm and I like to turn the sound up when we listen to these ships uh, signaling the bridge and then the bridge signaling back. So I'm warning you ahead of time this is loud, so if you have a dog or cat that you don't want to scare, maybe you might want to turn it down again, but if you're brave and you don't think you're going to scare anyone, I'd turn it up like you were sitting right there in the balcony with us. So I hope you enjoy that, and I hope you enjoyed this video and come back for more. I may be doing another room. I don't know. I've got a lot of haul videos with some fantastic antiques that we've been finding. I think it's because people have been cleaning house. So we are finding incredible antiques out there. I'm way behind on thrift hauls. So thank you again so much for watching. Your support has been just wonderful. I absolutely love your comments. If there's anything you would love to comment on that was your favorite item, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks again. You have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend. See you again. Bye now. Ah! 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 Arms throwing french fries out to the seagulls. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh boy, they'll have to fight over that. Look, they tried to catch it in midair. Oh, I got it. Actually, got that one. Oh, they are quite a catch. Oh, he was hanging up there. Okay, guys. Now you got the big one, the big... Watch this. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. No. Oh, it's nice and breezy out here. Oh, show's over.
see on this side of the highway, see if you see Norm go by. That's Norm. Dinner, famous Dave's. 